and welcome to Bump Club. We are at the beautiful Sheraton Kampala Hotel and I'm hosting the Baby Daddies. This is our Baby Daddy edition and I'll just be introducing them shortly. Building healthy relationships helps our kids feel loved and safe and secure. And there's no other example that they get to do this than from the parents or the people that, that, that they see that surround them. Today, we talk about the role that we do as parents in building these relationships for our children. And today, I host the handsome gents. They are all fathers. I'll start with Baba, Rinaldi <laughs> Jamgisha. <laughs> yes, Rinaldi is a father. He's married. He has been having much experience from aviation and communication. He's the business unit head at Brainchild, BCW, Fireworks Advertising, and he's in charge of digital. Next is Sabiti, Brian McKenzie, a.k.a. Keller. Yes, he's a full-time father to a 12-year-old son. He has 17 years experience in media and, and entertainment, radio, TV. He's a celeb. I think most of you know him, yeah. So he's currently A&R at Talent Africa Group and runs a marketing and creative team at Keller. And last is Moses Karugaba. He is a communication consultant, lawyer, and an MC with a very huge sense of humor. <laughs> nice to have you gents on the show. So in our role of building healthy relationships while raising children, um, you know, before, before you, you become parents, you're lovers, and somehow it changes when you become parents. How did that change, you know, your role in building this relationship? First and foremost, thank you so much for hosting uh, me on uh, Bump Love. It's a show that I've, you know, always uh, watched on social media and on TV. It's an interesting show. Thank and, um, yeah, you know, the unfortunate bit about relationships and family is that there is no uh, where, where you learn these things. So you always learn on the job. There's no manual. Uh, there's eh? no manual. There yeah. is, um, so you learn on the job. Unfortunately, you find that uh, you want to you know, use other people's experiences to manage your own. And yet every family is unique in its own way. Yeah. Um, yeah so I've been in this for about 10 years now. At least I'm married and uh, you know, with uh, two girls and, uh, and a boy. boy. Okay. Uh, very lovely. So. It's, uh, it's very exciting. It's, I can't explain how it is because it's like winning a lottery. You th dream about it until you get the money and then yes. you start to, now you start planning on how you're going to uh, yeah. work it out. But it's, just to uh, introduce it, it's, it's an interesting thing. I think on my side, I'm uh, a little bit different. I'm like a black sheep, I'm not married. Oh. <laughs> I have a 12 year old. <laughs> And um, I got the child when I was 22 years old, and uh, the mother was 21 years old, so we're pretty young. Yeah. And uh, so obviously there's, uh, there's always going to be some friction that mm -hmm. comes with that. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think what I noticed from the very start was that I didn't know. Uh, I thought I knew. Uh, I think from the very start I realized that I didn't mm -hmm. know. I didn't know how to uh, mitigate relationships with you know, the mother of my child. I didn't know how to mitigate a relationship with my child. Mm -hmm. And so... It was very unique uh, for me. Uh, when it came to the whole intimacy, it was a bit different for me because mine was more of a blessing than you would say as a plan or we're getting married or anything. Uh, so I think what happened was the communication changed a little bit because it came, became more protective. I noticed that I wanted to take care of the child and she wanted to take care of the child. But if you're not together, um, the friction became uh, really rough uh, between the two of us in, commun in co communication just interactions and birthday parties it just becomes a little rough uh, so the intimacy suffered i think in the first couple of years um but then later it, it changes because then you you both understand that you're supposed to just play your roles and and you if you if you can put your things on the side you can actually have a good time with the child it was difficult but i would say from the very beginning that that's really what i think uh, tricked me into a lot of stress and uh, a lot of just thinking that I, I, I don't want to even be a part of, of this situation. Uh, so yeah, um, the communication between me and the mother, I think is what became a bit tough for me with intimacy. But besides that, I was uh, so much in love with my child. <laughs> is it a boy or girl? It's a boy. Oh, it's a boy, yeah. Okay, very, very interesting. I think 
Definitely. Um, intimacy is, 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 uh, is put on the spot, mm -hmm. especially because I think each, an, each of you seems to have a new space you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. And I think for us, mom, you know, my wife, the mother to my baby girl, um, got so close to the child. And so I think it, it, it takes a need for a certain level of maturity. So for the start, it might be a bit difficult, and I think that's that's ish what what happened. Mm. Um, and so as we moved on, you know, a couple of days into it, the conversations needed to begin. And so I think it's very very important for us to to talk. Yeah. If you do not talk, if you do not you know uh, get into the detail, into the nitty gritty, uh, it can sort of become uh, you know a, a huge monkey to to to, to baboon. Mm. And so uh, it's very important for us to speak, for us to engage and discuss on these matters so for example you know um it's 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 almost in net that they would want to lay next to the baby yeah. you mm. know it's it's i mean it's just normal yeah. and it's expected mm. and so you just need to be able to be that supportive partner uh, when the time comes um unfortunately i would say as as men you do not go through this very same experience as women you only experience and see things from the outside, yeah. uh, which is very different. I mean, this is a new being being developed from their womb, mm. you know. So every change, whether emotional, or whether, you know, biological that happens to them, it's only them that can honestly feel it. And so when this being comes out, I, 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 I believe in many ways it's, it's nothing we can comprehend fully. We can only try to understand it and so... Uh, knowing that slight difference and, and the level of cleavage that they have to each other, I think it's something that we just simply need to understand. Mm. And so once, once that phase goes, I mean, things definitely get easy and back to normal. Uh, you know, like it actually never happened. And it's just a matter of time, I believe. So, yeah, mm. it's, it's a matter of time. So mine is, what, two and a half yeah, uh, months now. So <laughs> you can imagine I'm just fresh. Yeah, the half months is a fresh daddy. <laughs> Yeah, very fresh from, from, fresh from the experience. Fresh very yeah, fresh daddy. Fresh daddy. <laughs> yeah, with, 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 I'm not sure if I, a fresh girl, you know, yeah. not, not a fresh kid, but yeah. So yeah, very fresh girl, uh, yeah, you know, very, very That's close to the heart. And, uh, so for you, Moses, who is not so fresh, how has this <laughs> intimacy thing, do you feel like it, there's a way it was affected when the babies came in? Yeah, well, you know, um, Intimacy is, I mean, Chiga, first of all, so for us, things of intimacy, is, uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a foreign term that is used to, it's used to sugarcoat what intimacy actually means. Uh, as a man, I am a believer, I'm a, I'm a lawyer, but I don't believe in, uh, for example, human, these equal rights between men and women. Uh, it's very funny in that way because I believe as a man there are some roles I have. And the roles include providing for my family, providing for my wife, giving her shelter, make her comfortable. Because there is no woman who will want to get pregnant and then go through the stress of the pregnancy. Then you have to, you know, you know that whole process is stressful. And um, I believe that uh, a man should provide for his person. Now, the intimacy part comes in. Uh, in a very tricky way because we are living in very complicated times where a man has to provide at the same time as show affection. Those two normally do not mix and we somehow come here and we talk, you know, intimacy, be romantic, be nice, but like the Uganda say, you know, or something, there is, uh, you cannot be intimate with a person when you're broke. Yeah. So balancing th that boat is always a very, you know, it's a challenge that, um, you find, for example, the ladies will want you to go with them to Antinento, for example. And uh, it's really nice, you know, you go together, support <laughs> her. But how many men can, <laughs> can really af afford to leave their work and then go and... You know, you go to Antinento, you spend there eight hours. Eight hours for a man. Well, the guys are here, they can speak for themselves. Eight hours for a man is really... The day is dead, yeah. you know. And, uh, you know, initially they tell you it's like one hour. But that process of staying there, you, you get agitated, you get... Even the feeling you had starts going away, people are calling you. So, you know, there are factors that there is no man under the sun who gets into a relation with a woman and marries them and does not love them and does not wish them well. Challenges come when the society now, real life now sets in. Unfortunately for you ladies, you still want the Telemundo uh, style of looking at things. And that's where the, the challenges come in. 
I think the challenge here, and I hear what you say, is I've, um, like every single hustler, every man who is hustling for a shilling every day, cannot go for internet. It's very difficult. So I think there is an important ingredient in knowing as a man you need to provide. So before you actually, okay, for me it wasn't planned. Thank God God planned it. Yeah. But many people who are planning, it's very important to plan for the financial so that they don't stress you when you're with your woman. Because financial freedom is the reason as to why someone like Elon Musk is trying to go to Mars. If you were still strugg struggling to get a Rolex, yeah. he wouldn't be thinking about <laughs> Mars. So when you have a wife and the two of you are planning on having a child, you should understand it's going to be quite rough. That's why many marriages will suffer if uh, the money is not coming in really well. So I feel like what you're saying is very, very important. But the antidote to that is to actually have uh, financial freedom uh, as a couple before you have a child. Uh, but even with that, the mindset of the man should be based on care. Because your idea for provision should be based on care. So care can come through um, a showcase of what your woman wants. Some women are actually more, uh, they, they like more of a romantic uh, uh, appreciation to uh, more than just buying them a car. They would want to, for you to write them a nice note. So the care has to change, but it can only change when you have a creative, when you have creative freedom based on financial freedom. So I think there's a, there's a need for us to balance out what you can do for your woman based on your, your comforts and, and your struggles uh, because the woman definitely needs you um, in that position. Um, maybe if I yeah. could just chip in. Yeah. I think I managed to go for most of them. I think it's just two I missed. Oh, very so good. Actually, uh, <laughs> 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 um, it actually... is a hero. It goes without saying that I think what you know, the ladies look out for is the effort. Yeah. And I think the two times I missed, she was not exactly very excited. But she understood, <laughs> yeah, and, and I think just to allude to what you guys are saying, that at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's, it's not the time you're going to eat. Yeah. It's actually the, the mullahs, the money. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of the day, the child needs to be provided for, the family needs to be provided for. Mm -hmm. And so when those two very striking moments arrived, um, I know that she basically understood it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm a videographer, photographer on the side, uh, outside of my everyday work. And there are times, <coughs> you know, even when a client wants you to physically be there, the truth is there are times you can't and for me those were some of the times and so you just have to delegate mm. so i think we also need to switch up in as far as some of the actions we take and so we need to you know where, where you can delegate but the ability to actually be there physically i mean i've been there for all the immunizations as well uh for my child uh the last being yesterday that took you know, you talked about the whole eight hours <laughs> thing. And yeah, yeah <laughs> we arrived there about, yes, you know, <laughs> yeah, well. close nice. to what, uh, you <laughs> know, close to 12 p.m. Mm. Uh, no, actually about 11, well, about 11, 11.30. And we left immunization towards, you know, 2, 2.33. And so, of course, that's time taken. I had a couple of things to be done. In between, there was a meeting I was supposed to have. So I just agreed and said, you know what, this will be done online. Thankfully, it didn't happen, so it had me have the opportunity to be involved in, you know, go and pay for this, go and pick these forms. And I think for me, it's a very exciting journey because it's, it's, it's different. Um, and that involvement, you know, um, uh, changes things. Maybe because mine is a girl. So as they say, sometimes fathers and their daughters. Mm. Uh, but I know for certain that I'll definitely make the effort, uh, requisite effort to be there for my little mm. boy. Should he come? If God chooses girls, well, you know, why not? That's amazing. If, if boys come in, <laughs> then definitely, uh, I think I'll definitely want to be a part of that Pretty process awesome. all the way. So, yeah, Pretty I think awesome. there's, a, there's a bit of leeway we can always try to mm. play a thing or two. Pretty awesome. So, let's speak a bit about conflict because this comes in a lot. And just wanted to know how you manage or how you got to manage conflict, bearing in mind that this may affect <coughs> your children negatively. Uh. Because. <laughs> I don't know if you have <laughs> a lot to say there, <laughs> but well, the floor is yours. Well, currently, I would say, even with a child that doesn't speak, there's a bit of conflict because, yeah. you know, the child is crying for reason A, and, you know, the mother feels it is because of this. Yeah. And for you, you know, seated from this side, you think, mm, it could be this. And so one is saying, you know, she's crying because, you know, she needs to sleep. Now he's saying, no, probably she has some tummy issues, mm -hmm. as no, she's hungry. Or, you know, she wants to go outside. So you have a lot of these discussions of, 
And I think very important at that point is to discuss and agree. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the things we've always tried to do is, okay, let us try each of our things because that's the only way to also learn and understand the baby better. Yeah. Tomorrow you won't be in for one reason or another. As a father, I need to be able to be available. Unfortunately for fathers, we are given just four days paternity leave. You know, when you work for organizations, and I mean, that's the law, so even the yeah. organization might not be able to do much. True. And the women have about, what, three months? So they have the opportunity to, to learn and understand the babies. So also, there's, 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 there's a key space for us to understand that there's a level of intimacy they have and understanding beyond ourselves, especially for the new ones. Um, I'll let you talk about the older ones. I've seen certain experiences with other people and probably mm. discussed through a couple of things, being part of the Father's Union at church. And, you know, we discuss a number of these things, but I'll, I'll not talk into that. <laughs> I'll speak into the guys, you know, out there who, you know, your child is on the way or your child has just come. I mean, what are yeah. some of those things you can do? And I think very important is to s talk. Just talk yeah? and Have that conversation. And I think be candid, be open. Uh, mm. Very, very key to note also is that to a certain extent, given the emotional changes that happen with a woman when she gives birth, mm. there's, there's, there's a way you also need to handle that process. So even as you give feedback, mm. you have to be a little bit calculative and not say things that you'll regret, mm. you know, <laughs> whiles later. But I think, yeah, very important is to have those discussions. And I'd say our marriage in the beginning, like when we just got married, that was in 2020 in December, the first three weeks to three months, were like the toughest thing and i think they taught us how to work better mm. dating is a bit different because you don't live at each other's exactly. homes and stuff like that but now when you get Into to that space, space where you're now you know uh you know face to face with each other back to back with each other i think it, it changes a lot of things and so we had to learn quite 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 a journey those those months could almost make you think what am I doing? Here? <laughs> learn, relearn, yeah? and unlearn. And I think the good thing is we we had the same thoughts, the same experience, yeah. Yeah. and so the discussions that ensued early have helped us be who we are today, and so be able to start the conversations. Yeah. Uh, many times, someone will hold things in, and then they blow up. Yeah. Three months later, two weeks later, five months later, mm. and we agreed and said, you know what? When something is not going right for you that I'm doing, or the the other way around very important and very key is to speak about it i'd rather i know and know what to do yeah. or you know and you know what to do and then we see how do we work it through so even with the child i think one of the smallest ones currently is the fact that you know the child actually s sleeps in the bed and i'm thinking no she's she's two and a half months i could be wrong i don't know but i'm thinking you know what this is the time she needs to start to transfer because she's begun to see to hear and start to murmur a couple <laughs> of things so can we start to shift her one but day let her go to like her, but mom is no. like, ah, ah, you know what? And, and you think, <laughs> okay, you know what? You also understand. Wow, and so it's, 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 it's a tricky, uh, you know, sort of situation mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. But as you move, you allow. So yeah, there are days yeah. you allow and say, you know what, let, let her move. And I think one of the things we resolved to do is she said, you know what? Let me be putting her to rest in this bed during the day. So as she gets used to it in the day, then in the night you can also start the movements. And I'm like, you know what? It's cool. I think they it always get have a different <laughs> emotional uh, attachment to nighttime crying. I don't know. They yeah. don't want to be alone in the nighttime. Mm. Um, I think when I hear what he says, I, I feel like it's uh, something I really need to experience. Uh, so I'm going to get married. <laughs> Get welcome, welcome. We'll, we'll be around. around. We'll be around. Support <laughs> you. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Be the MC. But let, just to let you know, yeah. uh, what he's saying. You know, you, she's two years. Two months. Two, two months. Two months. Yes. Two and a half months. And you're thinking of migrating the kid to the. Uh, my my first. Slow but sure. My first born is a girl. Uh, mm. The second born is a girl. The third is a boy. We are still struggling to get them out of our bed. Now that, that that's what I'm trying to fight. <laughs> so that's eight years later. That's now you have two months. Fight. That's what I'm trying to fight because at the end of the day, I feel like you need you need to get back to where you are. You know, you were who you were even before them. And this is not to say that they are not anything less than the both of you. But I think that re, re you know re, re reincarnation of your relationship needs yeah. to start early. The moment you start to have those. And you know the child will never sleep next to the wall or the other side. I mean, you're fearing she'll fall. She'll never sleep on this side. So she'll have to be in the middle. middle. How does life happen? You know? And then she'll sleep one hour as you try to do certain things. Noise. But, but two months, so, you get a bed in the bedroom. You get now a bed that, so in it's the that bedroom. bed I'm talking about. That, that bed is being that difficult. She's refusing. To Mommy has oh, refused to so for it's bed. Okay. So, so for me, it's how, how do you transition her to her own bed, even if it's in the same room? 
and then how do we then at a later point you know do we so start have to use what the we are talking the about time? right now is uh, the conflict that comes yeah with so, all these so those are the ones that yeah. cause the conflict exactly okay. those so small, small I'll, I'll give things. you an example yeah. so um you know i work in the advertising industry and that place is fast paced mm. yeah so as a tv person you know you deal with a lot of advertising people a lot of the time as a you know a communicator you also know the same so what happens is sometimes you'll get home late and that's the truth so the only time you have is after you've you know come down and sometimes the baby is awake and guess what they're also not willing to let go of the mother because i've been with her the last two and a half months close and you know everything so the only opportunity you have is probably when she's gone to rest so you just need to figure out how do you manage that transition as early as possible so that you can get back to who you are uh, mm. a little you know faster than usual I mean, you're talking about uh, eight years, and your question was, is it the only space? It's not the only space. Yeah, because uh, my, my worry was maybe the, the conflict is caused by you not getting what you need to be getting as uh, one of the marital rights. Yeah. And I'm thinking maybe the bed might be for the child for now. Maybe we need to find a different spot <laughs> where we can still get no, the right anyway, spot. No, but anyway, I think for... <laughs> as you look for the money, <laughs> because also time, the money, like, I, and yeah. I think maybe if you just allow me to say this. Yeah. yeah. Back, back referencing to, to what you talked about earlier, it's very difficult as a man, and I mean, uh, the rest could, could, could have their say, to be chillax, you know, when money is needed in the home. Yeah. Yeah? You need to know that, you know, education needs to be sorted. You need to be looking into the fact that, you know, I mean, a medical emergency could happen. You need to be ready. Uh, you know, the car, something could happen, and I think for me, that's one of the things I experienced. You have money saved up for other things, and then the car decides to do certain things. Sorry. So you come back and you need to fix up a few things here and there. Mm. So when you get home, sometimes there are a few things you need to find. You can't stay in the office up to 1 a.m., so you need to actually come back, try to do a few things, and it's not right. I, that one I'll say outright, it's actually not right, but unfortunately, that's all you're hustling. Yeah. You're hustling, you're trying to make things work, and I think if you're able to make it early then the letter is a little easy. Mm. So how do you try to balance all these things? And I think for me, the space that you have shared together, because, you know, she's on maternity leave, so she's home pretty much most of the time. During the day, you even think, you know what, and I think the fantasies of, of, of dating will tell you, you know what, ah, I'll get a sitting car afternoon and run back home. My friend, afternoon is when the meeting has been set, yeah. you know? And you, you actually can't get it. And she's pumping. She's, yeah. she's yeah. You know. yeah, it's not, it's not so, your time. Yeah, I think they, 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 there's need for that fine balance in as far true. as managing these things. And as you said, there's no single one way to have it done. Mm. Uh, there's no manual. You know, it's all figure out, yeah. discuss, true. try this, try that. And there's I think no very important is to all. just try. Yeah. 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 So you know, in conflict with relationships, my. And as I initially told you, uh, being a mchiga, then now you have your rights and everything. I believe it's a question of knowing who is who and which position they hold in the family. The biggest problem we've faced, or the challenge we have with, with our generation is that women have been given emancipation, but the men have not been prepared for the emancipated woman. And uh, you have uh, men who are confused between what emancipation is and what providing is. And... Uh, you, so initially I had this element of being macho, I'm a man, I should take control of the home, until um, I was meant to stay with the kids for a day. You know, you come with your opinion from work, you're saying, why is this thing not clean? Why, is this, uh, why are the kids not showered? Why have the kids not eaten? Then you stay with them for one day, just for one hour, you're running mad, you know. Yeah. You may find your wife at home. You, she actually is not bringing money on the table, but what she's doing yeah. there is no amount of money that can replace it True. you know you cannot get the best ma you, you need like five maids for yeah. the job that your wife is doing just mm. one person mm. so you have to respect that that role that she performs uh and you ac 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 accept it and as men i'll just tell you if you ever find your wife or your spouse is not asking you for ridiculous things you know that you failed as a man you'll go to bed uh and sleep when your wife knows that you have no coin in your pocket. In the morning, she'll give you a shopping list of 500,000 shillings. And as a man, it's your role to figure out how you'll provide for those things. Yeah. Once okay. your woman stops giving you those funny uh, shopping lists when she knows you're your broke, time is done. you know that you're done. Or there is someone who is providing for you <laughs> <laughs> on your behalf. Yeah. You're yeah. eating someone else's food. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I like what these guys are coming up with because they come from a marital standpoint. Yeah. I don't come from that. Mm. I come from a war eh? yeah. with a baby mama uh, that lasted a couple of years. It went online. People know about this. Mm. It was a case of, yes, I'm, I'm telling you, it, it's not a secret. It's, not a it's, a public secret. It, it's, a, it's, it's out there. You know, it's not like it's not, it's mm. not known. Mm. Um, and being in this celebrity status, mm. uh, the public space, um, it's, it's a bit rough on the mental health as well. Yes, because what the, um, the idea of, of everything is that as a man, you're trash. Uh, that was the initial mm. idea. Mm. So with the, the mother of my child, she's a very strong, I would say, uh, that woman, that the emancipated woman today. Mm. And I am pretty much, I would love to say I was raised by a woman, so I kind of understand how to live with a woman. Yeah. But then when you, when you get into that world, you can easily fight with them because they're more of a sister now. You kind of understand yes. what <laughs> all yeah. their things yes, are. Yes. So we had a lot of rough issues in the beginning with the child that she's Kenyan. So she took the child to Kenya. Oh. And what happened was, um, it was good for the child, I think, because mm. the child was going to meet the mother mm. and the mother's mom and everything. Mm. But as a father, I'm a Munyankole man, and we have a great imp important tradition where you're buried, is, that's home. It's your ancestral place, that's where you're going to go. As a man in your, in your household, you're the king, your child is the one who's going to take over you. Mm. Basically, this is my child, he has my name, everything. And I felt really depleted of my purpose on earth because it's not like I was in a marriage, it's not like I had a, another girlfriend. My child was my everything. I'd invested mm. everything in that. So the war, the conversations that I was having with this woman were brutal. It was abuse after mm. abuse, mm. conflict after conflict. It, it almost went to court. It almost went to police. I'm talking about a serious case of conflict. Were you afraid that this would affect your child in any way at um, a certain point? I was just protecting my purpose as a father. I didn't care you about didn't care. the child. Mm. Okay. Right? It was that bad. So then I went to Kenya. I was like, let me go to Kenya. And I reached there and I see the child. He's happy. <laughs> <laughs> he was great. Eh? <laughs> I'm like, what am I trying to do? Mm. If he's happy here, he should be happy here. Yeah. But then I said, just give me one opportunity. Mm. Let me take him to Uganda. Mm -hmm. Let him see his home again, mm. see his people and everything. Yeah. When he comes back, mm. I'll, you know, we've just run it probably because <coughs> I've, I've allowed. Yeah. But because of that, my conversation with the mother changed because now nice. it was more of I respect your, yeah. your space, I respect where you come from, and everything. So it's about the child now. Yeah. So when I brought the child to Uganda, mm. my whole point was let me show off the beauty of being a dad with this child. Mm. After two months, he didn't want to go back to Kenya. <laughs> now, that caused more conflict now. True. But at that moment, I had to be wise and understand that now it's about the child. It can't be about me. You, yeah. So I'm not shouting at her anymore. I'm not using any foul words anymore. I'm not saying things that I know could hurt her. Yeah. I need to develop my emotional intelligence yeah. to understand the situation I am in mm. for the benefit yeah. of my child. Not me, not the mom. Yeah. And I'm telling you, the mother of my child right now is probably one of my closest friends. Oh, great. Because she did not only respect my position as a dad, but my child enjoyed our relationship in the yes. sense of she would come and we have a great afternoon at the swimming pool. Okay. That is not something I ever thought would happen, but it was a case of I, you need to balance out your needs as a hu yeah. As an adult, you have a lot of paradigms, a lot of insecurities, you yes, have a lot of yes. things you're trying to fight. The child just needs presence. Yeah. The Absolutely. child needs yeah. provision, like you say. The child mm. needs emotional balance. That's all they need. Wow. If you're having issues with your baby mama, issues with your wife, issues yeah. with whatever it is, you are basically working on your weaknesses. You are yeah. working based on your insecurities. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're not yet looking at the picture, the global picture that even you as a human being right now, yeah. Yeah. it's a gift that you are a parent. Like exactly. it's not even, there are many people want to be in your position. So yeah. play it well. Wow, well said. I, I add love something if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, I think, I do not know if we all believe in God, but I do. And I think very important also, and, and I think as you are speaking, it just kept bringing me to a space where it's, it's, it's God that actually allows us to experience this. Yeah. It's, not, it's, it's, it's nothing that comes to us automatically. And I think prayer, when it comes to conflict, eh, yeah. is one of those things. And someone will ask you, you know, sometimes I get back late and all these things, I'm trying mm. to hustle, I may never get time to pray. And I keep saying, guys, you know what, even if it's the Lord's prayer, just yeah. go before him and, and say those pray. lines. Yeah. You know, when, when Christ was asked how to pray, 
that's what he gave. Yeah. So if all is difficult, all is hard, and you can't get into the actual detail mm. of you know mentioning and talking through things, at least just say the Lord's Prayer and say, you know what, God, here we are. Very powerfully that. said. Yeah. Prayer. The, I love the maturity that came with that. I'm very happy for you that you know that whole conflict thing is done. Need I say more? Just drop in your comments in our comment section. Let us know how 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 you're building a healthy relationship, what you're doing to ensure that your child is thriving in a relationship that you are having with your partner. Until next time, with love from Sampla.